As we close out our time together this morning, I wanted to offer the invitation to those of you who may be considering just this stuff that we've been talking about, this idea of living your life centered on Jesus, the idea that we floated during the message about discipleship. All that means is becoming a learner of someone. In the ancient world, uh, a disciple would be someone who followed a teacher, who followed so closely that they picked up the teacher's mannerisms and habits of life and, and really began to be a reflection of their, their nature, their character, their way of living. And that's pretty much what we're advocating for uh, when we talk about following Jesus. Well, we believe that he is the Son of God, that he died on the cross, not as a martyr, but as one who intentionally laid down his life to take away our sin, our missing the mark, our failures, our rebellion, so that we could be forgiven and made brand new from the heart working out. And so it's our contention that those who put their trust in Jesus are made new and that our goal is to follow him, his way of life, his uh, way of ministry, his his uh, focus on the kingdom of God and, and bringing it into the present in this world through healing people and, and uh, sharing the good news and caring for the poor. And so if you're interested in following this Jesus, here's what we're going to do. If you want to talk you can call the church office, 507-377-1412, and we will call you back. Leave your name and number and a good time to call. If you prefer email, alvcpastor, P-A-S-T-O-R, at hotmail.com. That's A-L-V as in vineyard, C as in church, pastor, P-A-S-T-O-R, at hotmail.com. We would love to pray with you about this journey of following Jesus by faith and trusting him to make us brand new. Alrighty, that's it for today, gang. Love you. If you want to talk, reach out. We'll talk to you later.